All right, I got you. So would you like to interview me about my new car, Joe? Yeah, how does it feel to be in this amazing car? It feels awesome. I never thought I'd get in. I took my shoes off so I didn't scratch up your leather. And uh, yet it's compact and comfortable when you get in here. It's real, real. I love it. Well, your other car is sitting beside it, and they don't really compare. <laughs> Except, well, they do both have four wheels. Yes. And they both have an engine. They both have seats. They've both been, uh, I guess they both passed safety inspection. Rear view mirror. I got a rear view mirror on mine, too. You got a rear view mirror? Yeah, you got one. You got a windshield. The other car had a windshield. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have these. So how does this feel different than your other car? There is a sense of wealth with it. There's a sense of luxury. There's a sense of independence, power, lots of power in this car. The, the, the way it's set up, the way it feels, the way the dashboard is set up, and then the engine here in this thing run watching you go with it it's a rocket it's power well you look good in it thank you who's sitting beside you well, this is taping nobody right now but if you want to hop in i can take you for a spin around the block with it how big is the block uh, as big as you want it to be <laughs> <laughs> it's the state of texas block yeah. well awesome. it looks Awesome find here, Joe. It looks fantastic. Do you want me to take you trying to get out? Uh, I don't know if America needs to see me get out of the car. <laughs> I might win $5,000 on America's Funniest Video. Yeah. Well, you got in very easy. I'm just teasing you because I know when I slid in, it was it's a very tight fit. And it's made for a racing car experience. Yes. And, in fact, on a real racing car, the steering wheel would come off. You would get in, and then you'd put the steering wheel on. And they saved you the trouble. That steering wheel is there to stay, and for safety reasons, it's a good thing. I see. If Steven yeah. Tyler kept driving it, he probably would have kept the steering wheel. Oh, that's right. Steven Tyler sat in the seat. That's, that's right. right. You're sitting in the same seat where the famous Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, sat many times because he used to race this car. Yeah. He and raced he, it against his manager. Even more importantly, Joe Vitale has already sat in this seat. I've been in it long enough to do a few laps around the neighborhood and make everybody wonder what the um, the low flying plane was i also went and buzzed bill hibbler's house and if he's home he's still wondering who, who who just raided the neighborhood yeah you mentioned that about the race car experience it, it you're in here tight but it's a it's like a comfortable tight yes. to know that if i was taking a corner fast whereas in my other car as fast as that thing will go and it flies too yeah um, I'll go over. Lean, you lean over in the seat. You're gonna, you can tell with this thing, you're not going anywhere. With no, the car. you're one with the car. It's actually a very Zen experience. It's the Zen in the art of the panos. I agree. Yeah, the Zen roadster experience. Zen, that's a possible name too. Yeah. Zen. Well, kind of like Ladybug. Ladybug is a great name. But I may do. I may have my list vote on it and give them some award. You did well, Joe. You did well. It's oh. a great car, a beautiful car. Well, you know, one of the reasons it's easier to uh, attract things, manifest things, is when you have support. And you are an incredibly supportive friend. So thank you. Thank you. Any last words before I turn you off? Goodbye. Goodbye is a good last word, but that's two words. All right.